Trophy Hunter is going to walk you through the Runner's Wild, one of the Relic Runes. I want to thank PlayStation for the review code. And let's go ahead and jump into this. This one is all about boxes. We're going to be pushing a bunch of boxes and we're going to be stacking boxes as well. So first thing I'm going to do is when I enter, I'm going to use the pull caster. I'm going to break open this barrier here. It's not going to come and play just yet, but we're going to use that entrance uh, momentarily. Now we're going to find a box. So we're going to be moving this little guy around quite a bit. So first thing we're going to do is just pull it off and then jump up on top. And what we need to do is create a couple more openings for us. So we're going to jump up and around this tower here and then drop in once I get around. The ornament is right in front of us there. But we'll get to that in a few minutes. All right, so there's fire gleam here and another pool caster wall barrier as well. So we're going to break both of these open. That is going to allow us to swing this box around to this back corner over here. All right, now with both barriers open, we're going to push this box down this next hall all the way to the end. And then we're going to leave it there and climb up to the roof. All right, on the roof, you're going to find another crate. Now, the objective here is going to be to stack both of the crates on top of one another. So we're going to do that fairly easily. We're just going to push this crate down into the main room on the first floor. Now, this thing's going to kind of bounce around for a little bit when we drop it. And this is completely normal behavior for a crate, right? So once the spirits leave this box, we're going to go ahead and put it in place here. And then we can just go back to the first box and put it right on top. If you think that's the end of the pushing of the boxes, well, you'd be wrong because now we're going to be pushing both of them at the same time. So with that done, we're just going to drag this box around the corner once again past the fire gleam barrier. And then you're going to see a broken ladder kind of in the corner here on the right corner. We're going to push this straight in front of us and it'll be right next to that ladder that is no longer operational. And then we're going to climb up and keep climbing up. And this is going to take you right to the key. Once we got the key, we're going to drop back down and push the boxes back in the corner where we had originally pushed the single box to get to the roof. All right, with this in place, we can now jump outside. Do that right over here to the left, and the door is going to be to the left. We're going to use the key now to open the door. You can probably figure out what's going to happen inside of here. We're going to use the pool caster once again, break open this wall, and then pull the top crate in with us. And so now that we can grab this crate, we're going to take it and then push it up this little hill right up to the tower, right next to the vines. We'll be able to then climb up and claim our ornament. This is my fifth Relic Rune video. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see the rest of them. I want to thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. If you were able to get this ornament, let me know by hitting the like button. I'd appreciate that. The YouTube algorithm will as well. So thank you guys so much. Please hit that subscribe button. See you soon.